Hi dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about document management systems in Tally. That means you can easily maintain your documents through Tally ERP9. This module is very useful for easy to find out your valued documents in future. At the same time you can maintain your employees details also. For more details, please watch my videos. Hi dear friends, before loading this module, take one tally data backup for in your existing company. Again, come to company info screen, then create one new company here, create. You want to download TCP file from my video description. So in my YouTube video description, you can see two file, one TCP file and one JPEG file. Both of file you just download. So you already download that file here. Uh, this is a two file. and paste into my tally folder. Right click on tally icon, then open file location, paste here. So this is a file, one JPEG file and one TCP file. Again, this TCP file you want to load into your tally. So copy this name, open your tally. So this is a company, document management systems. Then here go to configuration, product and future manage local TDL, make it yes, then paste here that name. So save it so you can see the end early interface of Tally will change. So document management system. Now this module is activated. Then go to features, F11 feature, then accounting feature, Enable here, maintain payroll, enter, 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 and save it. Again, escape. This is a screen. Here, you can see it's a document employee display. So, in document, you can create the new document file. Same time, employee, you can create the new employees. Then you want to activate this module here. Features, F11 features, click the F11 features, then add on features. This add on feature, enable DMS module, make it yes, then put the serial number is 2. So here you can see the document location. So can you creating here in my desktop? You can document here. Copy this document location path, open your tally here, document location, paste your location, then put one backslash here, like the same slash, okay, then enter and save it. So the TCP loading procedure is finished, so again you want to go to the entry level. So first of all, I will show you how to attach documents. So in document, say new document field is here. 
the select new document here you can see the screen so document name so which document you are going to attach this tally so you can put your document name so roughly I'm taking just typing document one okay so this may be depends upon your system any trade license uh, another like insurance copy so like that it, it will be changed so just right now I write it document one then make it and there so if you want to enter more search keyword in future you don't know the correct exact name of this document you can give the search key also okay then here attach a document make it yes so the small screen will appear what type of document you are going to attach so it, there is a one list you will come as in this list is our document then you can select other documents then type the document name so here you can see in your folder there is a document so this is a document picture doc. so this document in this way you want to scan your document and save into your folder so this folder path we already defined so this is a document name doc so I'm going to type here doc.jpg then enter then you want to add more details then you, you can select other document then you can add the more more p documents otherwise end of list end and save it then go to escape escape so in after two three or four month or in future you want to check that document so this is a method display document search type your document name document 01 enter here so the document details will come document name is document 01 then right corner the top part you can see show document click the show document so one screen will come here press enter to browse the document that means click here or the document then press enter the document will this is your document escape 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 in this in this way you can add n number of documents unlimited document you can add it to tally in this section the document management system there is a two section document and employee in document section we already discussed about how to add the document the next one is employee section this section will explain you how to add employee details in our software so here select the employee then select create here type your employee name then enter 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 the date of joining here you want to put the path of that employee photo I will show you how to copy and paste that path minimize the tally then this is the folder document here you can see the picture so this is the employee picture pick so copy this path select the top then you click arrow then select this path copy and paste here then enter so image will appear here then enter 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 then employee number you can put your employee number designation then function gender all details you can fill here okay then bank details also you can provide here the passport number so the employee passport number you can put here then country issue country India then passport expiry date so here I am going to put the passport expiry 1 6 2018 because the pop-up will show here so again visa number 1 one six two thousand eighteen permit number contract start date contract expiry date so here I am giving the nearest date in the field of expiry uh, because I will show you how to pop up this expiry report at the time of company open so make it yes then enter 
enter here you want to another one set up suppose you have any personal reminder so that reminder function also you can set for the your personal task you can assign your personal task so here there is a button a reminder so click the reminder do you want to set your personal task make it yes then click the personal task window will come here so first task audit filing so audit filing the admin admin means your main username will come automatically then type the date which date you are going to submit the auditing so first june 2018 then check collection for any details you can enter here then the automatically the address means username will come here then enter that is also the date is on june 2018 then enter and save this field after here you can see the configuration button the pop-up timing so you want to set the pop-up time time period so for that click the configuration then go to general option here you can see the this option number of days from today 16 may visa expire report pop up i make it 40 the number of days today present remainder that's also i make it 40 then save this one so i'm going to close this company then i will show you how to pop up will work again open this company So this will come enter to continue so the selection screen will come select the company this is the company name or document management system click document management system username password so the auto pop up will appear visa expiry the Arun Mohan visa will expire nearest press escape so this detail screen will get Arun Mohan visa expiry date passport expiry date contract expiry date again sk passport expiry is all the same so that details will appear here then contract expiry so you have so many employees of the contract and visa passport is entirely different different time for the expiry so as per that details the pop-up will work then here this is a personal reminder so audit filing first june 2018 check collection first june 2018 again press escape the main screen will come okay so then you want to check the employee details go to display employee search click the employee name Arun Mohan so you will get the full details of that employee the same time you will get the passport expiry report for that consent person or you can filter as per your employee ways so that details will come then we say expiry report contract expiry report so that same report will get here also okay in this way you can easily maintain your all document to tally okay so kindly download this tcp file into my video description and use it okay thanks for watching my youtube channel